morning everybody and this is the first day of vlogtober <sighs> yes i have decided to vlog the month of october just to help get me back into the routine of things but also to get reconnected reacquainted and I've missed you all, so I'm bringing you Vlogtober to kind of get us back on track, and I'm really looking forward to it. I have not, some things planned, but not a lot. Um, it's not nearly as coordinated as like a Vlogmas would be. However, I don't think that's the point for Vlogtober. I think it really truly is to help get us back into our routine, now build the habit of filming consistently and often. So that's it. If you're new here, I'm Christopher and we talk about planning, organization, cooking, decorating, really all the things. If you are interested in DIYing, cleaning, like really anything, you're going to find something to connect to here and I'm super excited. So yeah, that's it. Um, upload schedule is going to look different than Vlogmas. I just don't have the capacity to vlog every day, edit, upload, and get it to you. Um, so uh, I'm going to film Monday through Friday, and you'll get a video Friday that encapsulates the week. And then you'll get a video on Saturday and a video on Sunday. So three uploads for the week. And I am excited to get back on track with it. And our first... <laughs> Damn, Vlogmas is a Friday. So today you're really getting just today edited, put together, and uploaded like Vlogmas style. So actually the next three days will feel like that. So we'll have a video Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then we'll take off. Well, not take off. I'll be filming Monday through Friday. You'll get the video Friday uh, next week then. So that's what's up. It's a little before 5 a.m. I am going to get ready for work. I have some clothes in the dryer. I know, look at this, you just joined and we're already into enthralling content, like laundry. You're welcome. I was going to work out this morning, but I actually think I'm gonna save it till I come home from work. I'm hoping maybe we can get out a little early today. I am starting today because it's a 30 day challenge. Uh, Jillian Michaels, it's very old school, but it's called the 30 day shred. I'm not looking to get shredded. Um, I'd be happy with a slight toning. <laughs> um, but we're going to start that today and do that through October. You can get it on Amazon for like $4.99. I think I have the DVDs from a long time ago, but I still just bought the Amazon one so I didn't have to futz with those. But yeah, we're going to start that today when we get home from work. It's a 20 minute workout and I'll be mixing in my Peloton with that. So I thought we would do that along this 30 day journey. And yeah, see what we get into. Steven and I were talking through a couple things that we're kind of planning on coordinating, um, but I'm not gonna overthink this Vlogtober. It's really about us reconnecting, getting back on track, and just enjoying the fall season, and also getting a lot of little previews to vlog, um, Vlogmas this year. So yes, all the things. We'll do all the things. All right, I'm gonna finish this cop. <laughs> I'm going to finish this coffee, then get the laundry, and then I'm going to get ready for work. I promised some of my colleagues I would bring them breakfast today. All right, here goes nothing. All right, friends, I'm getting ready to head off for the day, and then we'll catch up when I get home. Hopefully it'll be a little bit earlier, but I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. I have this J. Crew black sweater on, and then I'm wearing a long line button down from ASOS, and then a pair of jeans. I wanted my lighter, I mean my darker jeans, but they are still in the wash, and I have my Doc Martin loafers on, which, oddly enough, were not hard to break in, and I thought they were going to be terrible. So I'm going to head off to work. I'm gonna go grab breakfast and then we will all connect at the end of my work day and I'll see you later. You have to go outside? Hello, I missed you today. I missed you today. Go outside, go outside, stink pot. I am home from work and also so is Steven. He just pulled in, you missed it. Casual Friday. 
What? Casual Friday. Casual Friday, and look what I got you. Coke Zero. So it was a casual Friday. I had to go to the doctor. Oh, that's right. Check up. So that's where I was. So. He's leaving. But he already went for an almost two mile walk in the park today. That's good for a 14 year old dog. It is, and we saw a woman in the bushes peeing. Well, he's gonna pee in the bushes I right know. now. He gave he gave her tips on what to do. I looked over and I said, "There's like rustling in the bushes." And then I saw a woman pulling her pants <laughs> up, and I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> But did you teach her how to pee in the bushes? Did you teach her how to pee in the bushes? That sounds like that sounds like an exciting day. All right, so I am home. It's now going on five o'clock. We have to do dinner and all the things. Um, it was a good day. I'm tired. This week has been a lot. Um, maybe I'll catch you up on that. But onward and upward. Steven's also taking care of dinner tonight. Have a little fall vibes going. I don't have my. I bring in my pillows and my blankets often, but um, really like how this little setup happened in the back. I am going to go throw on some comfy clothes and then we'll see what we can get into. All right, we are in some pajamas and slippers. I also got an Amazon delivery. So let's go ahead and see what this is. I actually think it is part of Christmas decor. Like, look at this dramatic lighting. I planned that for all of you. I will link as many things as I can on the daily. All right. So, these were actually really reasonable. And they are a set of bells. I'm actually very happy with them. I also love that the piece in it is wood. Really happy with these. They're not actually going to stay in this cluster though. So the vision for the entryway for Christmas this year is along this top piece of board and batten, I'm going to have cypress garland the whole way across it. And then hanging down all at different lengths are going to be bells that are like antique and brass. Tomorrow, I'll pull some things from the basement so you can kind of see it coming together um, and what my vision is for my Christmas decor. Steven is responsible for dinner tonight. What are you making, Chef Steven? Uh, Indian, uh, chicken curry. Oh, I love chicken curry. Uh, it's too spicy for him. Although he can have some naan. And right. maybe rice, because he likes both of those. So. All right, Steven also brought me home some Pinot Noir, so I'm going to have a glass of wine. We think we will go with the Underwood. And then... Cheers to Friday and the first day of Vlogtober. We had dinner, and I really am just relaxing. I didn't end up coming home early from work and actually <laughs> stayed later than I planned, but it's fine. I was able to get a lot of things off my to-do list, so that actually feels really good. I've been working a lot this year, and you guys know from previous years that I haven't always done the great, greatest with balance and prioritizing a work-life balance, and this year I've just found a different rhythm with everything I went through at the end of last year. Um, my perspectives have changed around like what I think is really important and where I wanna spend my time. And oddly enough, I'm doing the best work I've ever done and being recognized for it. My team is being recognized. And it's kind of odd that it took finding some balance and space to do my best work and bring out the best in my team. We had a challenging week, as many people have, but our challenge is temporary. We're kind of getting on the other side of it, feeling a little release. And although a long, challenging week, there was also lots of good and light and joy and laughter. And you have to have it all. You have to have the great moments and you have to have the tough ones. And that's where we're at. I think one thing that's really helped me is I internalize and get anxiety about a lot of other people's feelings and thoughts. And I think one thing I'm beginning to learn is I can't expect people to 
do the same things or respond the same way that I would. And I think sometimes I think, well, they should have done X and I would have done this or, and I get a lot of anxiety and stress and um, I can't control how other people respond and they're not wrong for responding the way that they would. So that's been something that's been really helpful. I do think this first day of Vlogtober is really gonna be this low key just because my day didn't work out the way I thought it was. I thought I'd be home early. Guess what? I also didn't get my workout in. That's okay. I'll get it in tomorrow. And luckily there are 31 days in October. So I have to start tomorrow. And sometimes things don't go as planned and why beat ourselves up over it? This wasn't exactly how I pictured the first day of Vlogtober launching. I actually expected it to be a little different. But you know what? It's life. We'll all be okay. We've started the ball rolling and now it's onward and upward from here. I'm excited to spend a lot of time with you. The normal Friday upload will have a whole week so there'll be a lot more. But you know what? It is what it is today. And I love you all. I'm excited to connect. I hope you're excited for all that's about to come. And here's to Vlogtober. Cheers.